Hello and welcome to my Final Fantasy XIV Glamour's Guide. In this video I'm just going to be going over briefly the general idea of how to use the Glamours and so on. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I've already unlocked them, but you unlock them by talking to Whiskard here up in Mordona at Revenant's Toll. Uh, you just have two quests really quick. He just tells you to go over to Rowena and back. Uh, but after you talk to him and do the quest, you can talk to Tataroga here. And you have these Master Carpenter books that you can buy for 3,000 each. I believe you just have to be level 30 in order to use them, but I could be wrong. I don't have any classes that aren't maxed out or above 30 yet. Um, but you need to use these books in order to learn how to unlock the Glamours for your class. And I'm going to be demonstrating with a Weaponsmith one here. Um, for glamours, you will need, for the item I'm needing specifically, I need a grade 4, and, and I'll worry about those later. Um, okay, so now that we have the glamour, I can go ahead and go over here so it's a little quieter in the background. Much better. Okay. So, to get your glamour prism and to start making your item and so on, you need to have the item that you want to do which is, I'm using Obelisk here, and the item that you're wanting to change the appearance of, which is my Gable Zenith. I don't know why I said it that weird, but uh, I'm just going to call it Gable. Uh, so to change Gable to look like Obelisk, I need a Grade 4 Glamour Prism. Uh, all of the Glamour Prisms, you need to buy the whichever corresponding grade, and depending on which class, like for Weaver here, I need two Undyed Velveteen for all five of these. Um, for Smithing, it's Steel Ingots. Each class has something that they can make around the level 30 area um, to make into a prism, but it's the same for all five of them. The only difference is the grade of clear prism that you buy. So the reason that there's one through five is if you look on the obelisk, you'll see that the item level is 70. Uh, and the reason that that plays any role in this is each Glamour Prism, if you look over down by my bags, uh, each Glamour Prism is ranked for certain item levels. So level 1, or grade 1 is item level 1 to 20, uh, grade 2 is 21 to 40, grade 3 is 41 to 60, grade 4 is eight, 61 to 80, and grade 5 is anything higher than 81. So you can't just use grade 5 to... Uh, oh god, block. <laughs> Can't use grade 5 to give you anything under that. You have to be sure to make sure that you have the right item level. Now, for which item you need the corresponding item level for, I need this grade 4 because I'm taking the appearance of Obelisk. You don't need grade 5 because I'm using Gable to change the appearance of. You need, it, uh, you need the right prism for the item that you're changing or that you're taking the appearance from. So I'll go ahead and make one of these real quick. Alright, now that I've got the grade 4, I can go ahead and I'm going to switch to my Dragoon set. Oh. Let me put this back in my armory chest. There we go. Alright, now you see I've already put Glamours on my Dragoon set, and I'm actually just finishing up the last piece. Um, might as well go over it really quick. Uh, where is it? Okay, so I'm assuming that these little red crosses here mean that the Glamours that are on it are class restricted. Like, you see that I'm using the Crimson Vest and the Allegan Circulate of Healing, or Casting. Um... Oh, that's neat. It also shows you what uh, item it has the glamours on it if you hover over it long enough. Um, notice that it says I can use it on Black Mage and Summoner. So if I equip my Summoner, I still have the items on, but since it's class restricted, it won't show the Black Mage armor. So glamours can also be... they suffer the same uh, restrictions as the armor that you're using glamour on. So... If you see here, I believe it shows you like the color and everything of the glamour, but um, 
it isn't a red thing because this here is class restricted. So, or well, the I don't know why the helmet's doing that then because it's uh, well, maybe it's just doing it because the actual item itself is a class restricted item. But either way, let's go ahead and just show off how to get the glamours going. I've trailed off of the focus of this video too long. Uh, so once you unlock the glamours you get a spell called cast glamour so you right click hit cast glamour and this will come up. Uh, you can select whatever items you have here you can also select it from your armory chest and so on. Then you pick the one that you need and I'm going to like if I click here you see I don't have the grade 3 so I cannot cast the glamour but since we just made the grade 4 I can make my zenith look like obelisk. And that's it. It does not get rid of the item and I'll show right here. Uh, once you cast the glamour you can just store the item. You don't need to have it on you at all times you just need to have it with you when you have or when you're getting ready to cast the glamour. That's gone. Glamour doesn't go away. Everything's good. So I hope that explained uh, the glamour well enough. Uh, I didn't go super deep into it, but it's not too uh, complex once you actually do it a few times. So uh, I guess I'll just end the video here and stay tuned for more videos either coming out today or tomorrow on patch 2.2.